What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. This time from Cisco Brewers in Nantucket, Massachusetts. This is Gray Lady Ale. Not a whole lot in terms of notes from the brewer on this one. Uh, just a little bit here on the bottle. The name Gray Lady comes from the nickname for the often foggy island on which it is brewed. This hazy Belgian style wit emits a complex nose with sophisticated notes. Low ABV on this one. Sources differ a little bit. The bottle here says 4.5% alcohol by volume. The Cisco Brewers website says 4%. Either way, very low ABV as you would expect for a, a whipped beer. Checking it out. Nice yellow. Maybe venturing just a hair into gold color. I would call it pretty solid yellow. Um, kind of almost like a, looking like a white wine. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. So to start off, start off, uh, very light, very dry. Those are really the first impressions of it. Maybe just a, a bit of a, a wheat note. The flavor profile overall is pretty mild. A little bit of a little bit of an earthy bit and maybe uh, like a, a spice, cloves, coriander, something, I think cloves. A little bit of a clove note in there. But mild spices, mild earthiness. Maybe just a, a slight, slight hint of citrus. Again, light and crisp and dry, it goes away very quickly after drinking. Um, I think it makes for a, a really solid beer with those characteristics, the light, the crisp, the dry. And with the, the mild flavor profile overall, I think it makes for a uh, nice summer nice summer ale. Maybe a bit of a, a white wine note as well. I think maybe that's coming from the, the dryness at the very end is kind of giving me that same feeling as when you uh, take a take a drink of a, a white wine. Yeah, it's not really grapey at all in the way of a white wine. Sometimes you get you can get that if uh, the beer is done in wine barrels or something like that. Not really grapey, just kind of the, I think that dry finish is, is kind of reenacting that white wine feel. Um, not a bad beer. I'd like there for there to be a little a little stronger flavor profile overall, just stronger flavors overall, really. But I do like that that light, dry crispness that um, makes it pretty refreshing, um, pretty enjoyable on a hot day here in Columbia. It's been ninety something or hundred something for forever now, forever now. And this would be a good beer for a hot summer day like this. I can check out. Our written reviews, video reviews, beer news, and a whole lot more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Facebook and Twitter. All those links are in the description below. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.